Well, hello everybody. It is Maddie and I am back to end off this month of May together. Wow, May is almost done. We have been full in this theme of 5K, running a 5K. Has anyone actually run a 5K this month? I haven't, but if you have, let me know because I am, will be impressed and maybe we'll send you a virtual high five or something like that. Anyway, we are gonna finish off our month. I am so excited to be here with you. Now, I do have a little bit of a challenge. Now you can do this with me or you can watch me maybe fail or succeed. I'm not really sure yet because I don't know how I'm gonna do. But if you would like to do it with me, you can pause the video and get yourself a coin. It can be any coin. I have a one shilling coin from when I was in Kenya. Um, there's a little giraffe on there, if you can see it, kind of right there. Yep, a one shilling. I don't have any Canadian coins apparently on me, but I have a shilling from Kenya. So hopefully my talking has given you enough time to um, go get one or you pause the video and have come back. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try, we're gonna do it five times and see if we can do it or see if I can do it. I might make a fool of myself. Um, but I'm gonna put the coin right, ooh, maybe right here on my elbow. Now, the goal of this is for me to flick it up and try to grab it in my hand. Do you think I can do it? I will be honest with you, I have had no practice. You are getting the real time moment of seeing if Maddie can do this. So I'm gonna try it five times, you do it with me. Okay, are you ready? Count me down, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I promise I almost had it. It like hit the palm of my hand and then dropped. Okay, try number one, no luck. Okay, ready? Concentrate, concentrate. Oh, that one just didn't get any hype. Okay, yep. Number three. Oh, it hit off my pinky, everybody. I know, it's just a bunch of excuses. Okay, here we go. Trial number four. Oh, again, it hit off my thumb. Guys, come on, come on. Are you guys doing any better than me? Oh, runaway coin. Okay, I can get it on the last try. Can't I? Can't I? Come on. Oh, guys, the trick is don't slap the coin down. <laughs> okay, bonus try. I'm really glad I did a bonus try with you because we did it. We got it. We caught it. See, but practice got it better, right? Tried it five times, didn't work. But I figured it out and my arm kind of was trying to figure it out along the way. And then on the sixth try, I got it. Practice makes progress. And that's what we're talking about today, about how practice is really, really important. Kind of like running a 5K. You probably can't really, you can't do it well maybe the first try that you do it. But as you practice and as you train, you get better and better and better. And that's kind of like a little bit practicing with our relationship with God. There are some things that we have to practice and try the first time we do it. It might not be what we expected or it might be a little bit tricky or we might get discouraged, but the more we do it, the easier that it gets. All right, let's hop over to the so-and-so show together and see what they need to share today. For me, a good you hold my future. You're working all the time, you're the mountain mover from sunrise to sunset till the sun comes back up again. You're by my side. You started a good work in me. I know that you will complete it. You will see. Everything that you say, you 
Out with the bad air, in with the good. Give it up! Let's work! Quick, get! Get in! I'm ready! One, two, three, four, I declare a thumb war. Five, six, seven, eight, this will be a piece of cake. No! Oh. 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 You were so fast. Two out of three? Eight out of ten. All right, one, two, three. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm Lawson. And welcome to The So-and-So Show. And I personally am very excited to be here today because mm -hmm. I have something special up my sleeve. Oh, really? You got a surprise for us? No, I have something special up my sleeve. Oh, you meant that literally. I mean, usually when people use that expression, it's because they have a surprise or they have something unexpected to share. Oh, well, I have that too. Oh, really? What is it? Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Ooh. Come on in. Grab a seat. All right. Uh, you're Lawson's sister? Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. Good to meet you, too. Yeah. Brandon? Oh, yeah, you know me. Yes, Brandon is my name. Lawson, talk about me? Yep. Uh, who does he think is funnier, me or John? Uh... You know what? I have a better question for you. Why don't you tell us who you are and what you know? Ooh. Well, I'm Ivy Catherine, and I know a lot about music. Oh, that's cool. Do you, do you play an instrument or something? Yeah, I play several, uh, but the most fun is playing in our family band. Family? You have a family band? I've told you this before, Brandon. No, you have not. I would have remembered that. Flashback! What are we going to do on the show this week? I feel like we've done everything. Oh, we can bring on my sister and brothers. We have a really cool family band. There's just nothing new out there. And that's happened three other times. I'd flash back to those two, but it's literally the same interaction. No way, I'm sorry, Lawson. A family band sounds really cool. Thanks. Yeah, what kind of music do you play? So we do mashups and covers of songs, but we have our own unique style of how we do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are seven of us, but we all play the same piano. But it's not just the keys. We open up the top and we play the strings and the sides of the piano as well. What? Seven people on one piano? Most of the time, yeah. Sometimes we'll add in a few other things, like a tambourine or a bongo drum, but that's it. Wait, okay, does it hurt the piano to like bang on it like that? No, not at all. It's actually a very robust instrument. Huh. Everyone wonders that, though. Yeah, that must be a lot of hard work getting the parts down just right. It is. Uh, two of our brothers do the arrangement, and then from there we divide up the parts, learn the music, figure out choreography, and then it's hours and hours and hours of practice. Huh. Yeah, we practice until we fall over. Seriously? <laughs> no, not till we actually fall over. You know, we, we just practice a lot. Because if one person gets off beat, it can throw off the whole piece. Oh, well, that makes sense. So how long does it take for you to learn one piece? Uh, about a month from start to finish. Yeah, it takes a lot of commitment, even just for one piece, but I think it's totally worth it. Do you want to see a sample? <laughs> Absolutely. Cue the video.
that was awesome. You guys, that was, that was, thank you for coming on the show, Ivy Catherine. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Oh, man, Lawson, that was great. Seriously, you should have told me you had a family band sooner. Damn I you. did, Brandon. It's I Bible told Story Time with Kevin. Hey, guys. Hey, Kevin. Hey, hey. What's going on today? Oh, Lawson's sister came on. Their family is so talented. Did you know he's in a family band? Of course. Lawson's always talking about them. Okay, I get it. What's going on with you, Kellen? Well, today's story begins with Jesus and his disciples hanging out where people gave their offerings at the temple. You guys up for helping me out? Sure thing. You got it. Great. Because it's time for our human head puppet theater. <laughs> Whoa, there sure is a big crowd of people to give money at the temple today, right, Jesus? I have so much money. Hmm, how should I lighten the load of my heavy pockets? I guess I'll give some to the temple, to God, because I'm so generous. He 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 he. Money. Jesus watched the crowds come and put their money into the offering boxes. A lot like how today we put money into the offering at church. There were a lot of rich people who came and gave large amounts. Oh, don't mind me. Just giving a lot of money today. Yeah. Wow, the people here really are generous. Don't you think so, Jesus? Ha! How much should I give to God today? I have a lot. I suppose I can give a lot. Ooh, look at me being all generous and stuff. A little later, a poor widow came into the temple. She put in two very small copper coins. They were only worth a few pennies. What? That lady caught your attention? Jesus said, that poor widow has put more into the offering box than all the others. What? No, no, Jesus, didn't you see what all the others gave? I mean, they gave way more. I mean, way more. The others gave a lot because they are rich, but she gave even though she is poor. She put in everything she had. That was all she had to live on. That is generous. Jesus knew that by giving all she had, the poor widow was trusting God with her entire life. The end. Bravo! That's amazing. Isn't it? The poor widow had so much faith. She showed us what it could look like to live completely for God. I wish I had that much faith. You can. But, like everything else, living for God takes practice. It takes commitment. Like with your family band. Totally. Thanks for the story, Kellen. Anytime. I'll see you guys later. I really do want to learn how to live for God. Well, then let's learn together. Hmm? Reveal the question. How can you live for God? Yeah, that's a big question. Where do you even start? It's like Kellen said, it takes practice. You yeah. can practice by hearing what God says to us in the Bible or through other people. Yeah, you can live for God when you pray and when you talk to other people about Him. Yeah, it's about honoring God and treating others the way you want to be treated. What are some of your answers? How can you live for God? You guys talk it out, and we'll see you next time. I'm Brandon. And I'm Lawson. And this was <laughs> the, the So and So, and so Show. Show. So and so, so, show, so, so, show. Is that the So and Show? Yes, I think it is. Wow, the So and So Show is my favorite kids show ever. Five, six, seven, eight, off. Well, Coming to a streaming service near you. Record a solo. Oh, no. This was a mistake. I think so. We took a vote, you're out of the band.
All right, welcome back. So part of what it looks like to honor God can include money, kind of like what we did earlier, but that's just a piece of it. We have to figure out and learn what it looks like to honor God in everything that we do. So no matter what decision that we make or how we do to treat people or how we choose to look at school and going to class and doing homework, we can ask ourselves, what does it look like to honor God and what does it look like to love others? Hmm. Can you ask that question to yourself? What does it look like to honor God and what does it look like to love others? Those are some pretty significant questions and ones that you might be like, yeah, yeah, Maddie, great questions. Or yeah, Maddie, like those are great questions. But when you actually think about it and apply it to every day, like what does it look like to honor God in school? What does it look like to love others in my class? What does it look like to honor my parents? What does it look like to love my siblings who might be driving me nuts because I'm home with them all the time? Those are really big questions to ask. So in your small groups today, you can talk about that. What does it look like to honor God and to love others? Big questions. All right, before we head off, I just want to pray together and then you are gonna like drop, uh, jump over or run over or flip coins over into your small group. Apparently uh, words are tricky sometimes. Practicing speaking is important. Okay, let's pray together. Will you pray with me? Dear God, we know that you gave us your word to help us learn how to follow you. Help us commit to putting into practice what we've discovered today about how to live for you. Remind us this week to make choices that honor you. We need your help to stay focused on you and on your ways as we run the race of life. Remind us also that we can show your love to the world in the way we act, talk, trust you no matter what. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, everybody, it's been so great to be with you again today. Now hop over to your small groups and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye guys.